Before we begin today's video, I would just like to take a minute to talk about a crowdfunding campaign I actually feel very strongly about. This this is in no way political, and this uh, and this is in no way sponsored. I am taking this completely under my own volition because I because I believe in the project that much. It is it is the first graphic novel in what is hopefully be an ongoing series called Flying Sparks from number one best-selling Amazon.com author John Del Arizano with amazing looking artwork by John Malin as you can see in this video it is the story of what happened it is a fun-filled adventure story about what happens when a superhero is dating her city's greatest super villain it promises to be a fun time for all ages and I hope you will and I hope you will enjoy it and that you'll follow the link in the video description and consider supporting it so that this project will get funded because the only way we'll see this project full fruition is through the support of readers like you. John Del Arzon is a, Arzon is a great guy who I talk to pretty much every day on Twitter and he is putting a lot of passion into this and as you can see, it looks great. So please, consider checking it out. And now, on with the video. you some manga in order to shake things up and what better way to start that off than one that I'm not overly familiar with uh in fact I haven't even seen every episode of the anime in fact it was kind of just that anime I watched while waiting for other stuff to come on on Adult Swim but hey uh, let's just jump right into Inuyasha number one And we open up what I'm pretty sure is a fan coloring job. It's not horrible, but it doesn't look professional either. And it, uh, and, uh, the copy I have doesn't have random pages colorized. So I'm pretty sure this is a fan job here. Either that or there are different editions with color with random pages colorized i don't know the release history of this ha 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 and uh right away you should learn learn to read from right to left i'm taking the shi shin kono no toma shikono no toma to effing bad guys yeah, right away, if you're only familiar with, uh, with the anime, which is more of a PG-13 rated affair, this, uh, <laughs> Inuyasha just dropped the F-bomb. <laughs> because, well, if you're terrorizing a village, why not go all the way? And, a, and helpful guide at the, at the bottom informs us that Shinko no Toma is the jewel of four souls. Act one. The sealed away boy. I can become a real Yakua. Yakua equals demon. Now that I have this, Inuyasha! Kikyo! All I did was burn your city to the ground. What brought this on? <laughs> yeah, it always uh, it always shocks me that he seems to be shocked that this is her reaction to him literally burning her home to the ground and stealing her stuff. What 
exactly did he expect her reaction to be? I, I think Inuyasha must have, must have, like... The worst case of autism I've ever seen, since he doesn't seem to be able to read people or predict what they're going to do in response to his actions at all. Because of such a thing, Shiko no Toma. Bitch, how dare you! What? I don't know, because of such a thing? Horrible wound. Quick! Get medical treatment. It's already too late. Oh, it seems to be going left. It seems to be going left to right. Unlike, I don't know if whoever put this online flipped it or what, but it seems to be going left to right instead of right to left. So, uh, sorry uh, if I got a little confused there. You know, when I'm trying not to be conf when I'm trying to meet you uh, halfway, manga, it would be nice if you didn't try to be helpful to me by uh, confusing the issue and confuse the issue in the process shall never again fall into evil hands I shall take the Shikuno no Tama I'm just going to say Jewel of the Four Souls instead of tripping over that every time I'm sorry Japanese is statistically one of the hardest languages for English language native English language speech speakers to learn and as you may have guessed I'm not that good I'm not that good with English to begin with to the next world because that makes sense Tokyo 1997 Shikira Toma Jewel of the Four Souls well as long as you keep this your house will be safe and your business will prosper are you going to sell them, G-Chan? G-Chan equals Grandpa. Why, since we're translating everything anyway, why we didn't just write Grandpa, I have no idea. These glass balls? Now listen, Kagobe, the history of the Jewel of Four Shows begins with Besides that, Grandpa, do you remember what day it is, it is tomorrow? Huh? Now, how could I forget my adorable grandchild's birthday? Wow, a present! I couldn't have predicted this. I know, it's a day early, but happy birthday, Kagome. That mummified Kapo's hand brings good luck. Its history begins with... Eat it, Bodo. Bio. Eh. Ah, hey, that's wasteful. No, she saw that it episode. She knows better than to use that thing. She saw that episode of the Twilight Zone. Rob Serling saves he saves the world again. My house is a very old shrine. The four of us. Grandpa, Mama, and uh, no Tatu li live here together. The history of these pickles begins with... He seems, he's suffering from Grandpa Simpson's disease. Run! <laughs> these were from... Ojoko-san, weren't they? Ojo... Otako equals younger brother. The Goshen Boka is 500 years old. And this concealed well is supposed to have some kind of legend. All of these things have their own history, but... Goshen Boko equals sacred tree, often translated as god tree. I'm leaving. Yeah. Whatever you do, get away from more of those stories. Run, run. <laughs> like the wind and never look back. Run. No matter how often I hear Grandpa say, its history begins with, I completely forget. I never even thought about why I couldn't remember until the day I turned 15. Huh, Sota? Nichan? Nichan. Equals big sis. 
You shouldn't play in the shrine. But Bio got in. Inside the concealed well? Bio! I think he's down there, but... Then why don't you go get him? But this place feels kind of creepy. Also, it looks like it smells. And it looks like there have been human sacrifices being conducted down there from the looks of things. Yeah, uh, I'm not going down there for a stupid cat. What are you scared of? Aren't you a man? Yeah, a man who doesn't have a death wish. So, so something's down there? Like the cat, maybe. Jeez. The sound is coming from inside the well. No way. Gah! That scared me. Don't scream like that. Now look, you. And then... A creepy lady, a creepy lady who apparently doesn't know a thing about boundaries just grabs Kagome and pulls her down into the well. And we... And we see this lady's spine just did not know when to stop. She really did. Uh, and it really should have. What is this? How wonderful. I can feel my powers returning. My body is growing back. You have it, don't you? Let... Go on me! That's disgusting! Ah! Damn you! I won't let you go! Shinko! No, Tama! Shinko Kong? <laughs> and then she... And then she finds herself inside the well? What was that? that just a dream? It wasn't! And, can I just say, Kagome seems to have real underreactions to the horrors that are around her. I mean, she takes it better than any character I have ever seen in any work of fiction. I mean, she just found a severed human arm in the well with her, and her reaction is, huh, interesting. Makes me wonder if she might be a bit of a sociopath or something. Since her reaction to it is, Pretty close to having no reaction. I won't let you go, Jewel of Four Souls. Jewel of Four Souls? I Have I heard that before? Better get out of here. Soto, Sata, are you, are you there? Go get Grandpa. Gee, the kid ran away, huh? Hmm? Outside? I must have fallen into the well, into the well in the shrine. And she seems to be uh, suffering from a bad case of Sarah Jane syndrome in the time, in the time where, in that it's taken her a really long time to put this, put together what's actually happened. Even though it's pretty obvious, the house has disappeared. Go, Shimboko. Great, my house must be near here. And she comes across the Yasha's still arrowed to that tree. And all I can think is he must be smelling rather ripe by this point. A boy? Huh. What are you doing? Excuse me. Those aren't human ears. I want to touch them. Okay. This just started going to a real place. Weird place. This really isn't a time for... What are you doing over there? This land is forbidden. Are you a foreigner? She was in Inuyasha's forest. It'd be a young girl in strange clothing. It'd be a young girl in strange clothing. Hey! You don't have to tie me up. Actually, this is the best case scenario since they thought she was a foreigner. At this point in Japanese history, not only were... All foreigners were who set foot on Japanese soil were supposed to be put to death, and the penalty for speaking to a foreigner was also death. So, her just getting tied up and them 
And then not instantly bashing her head in with the nearest rock is actually the best case scenario she could possibly hope for. Could she be a spy? Could it be war again? It gets soon in the skies, perhaps? What kind of place is this? Looks like something out of... Shin... Shige... Shingeku de Joy. Kinsitu equals Fox and Shinto. They are messengers of a uh, rice kama and have magical qualities. Shinko Jura equals Warring States period of feudal Japan, 15th to 16th century. And yes, I'll be using that. I'll be using both of those terms uh, instead of butchering Japanese from this point on. Clear of a way. Me, Miko. Kodami Samae has arrived. Who are you? Why were you in Inuyasha's forest? Jeez, another weirdo has arrived. Huh? Let me see your face clearly. Try to look more intelligent. You resemble Kikyo Unisoma. Eh? You've lost me. My sister was called Kikio. She was the Maiko who protected this village. Listen carefully, Katie. Take this and burn it with my remains. It has been 50 years since that day, and I was, o I was only a child when she died. What's wrong? Aren't you going to eat? Hmm. Could you maybe untie me? Eh. This, uh... Isn't Tokyo, is it? What did I say? Sarah Jane Syndrome. I've never heard of it. Is that your province? Yeah, um, yeah. The, uh, I wouldn't mind getting back home now. But how am I supposed to get back? What is all this? And then a dead horse comes flying at her. Because when... Because, uh, yeah, let's just do that. And then, uh, and then the lady who pulled her into the well with her regenerated body pops up. And she proves one thing, that Japan does the concept of human centipedes way better than the United States. Mono, mo, mono, no key? It, it's her. Mono, Mono no ki, evil spirit. Give me the, give me the jewel of the four souls. The, the jewel of the four souls? You are carrying it. I, I don't know, but, damn her, she's targeting me. I have to lead her away from this village before everyone is, and the, Neither spears nor arrows are working. We must drive her back to the old dry well. Dry well? It's in Inuyasha's forest. The well I came out of? Which way is the f is that forest? To the east. Where's that light coming from? Go to it. Wait. What was it that girl just said? In that evil forest, normal people cannot see it. Did she just say that she could... Um. And then we cut to Iduyasha, who seems to be waking up. I can smell it. I can smell the woman who killed me. She's coming closer. I'm going to be saved somehow, aren't I? And that ends the issue. And I have to say, for someone who's dead, Inuyasha is looking quite lively. Okay, I have to say... This is a pretty good introduction, and it definitely and it definitely starts things off with a bang and a lot of mystery. The artwork is average for manga, but hey, at least it has at least at least the basic premise has some imagination to it. So, yeah, I give it a seven point five out of ten. See you next time.